Hey everyone, welcome to Three Questions with Zane. Hey best friend, how you doing today? Great, ready for another show? And by the way, happy uh, over a year anniversary on your shows. Uh, I believe you're about 25 shows in and you got a new logo. I'm testing a new background uh, for, for the future. So we've got a huge topic today. What's our topic? Huge. Well, that the first recorded basketball game that like ESPN and all these other big sites have recorded is not the first college basketball game. Wow. Breaking news from 18, 1895, the first college basketball game that everyone is saying is the first college basketball game probably wasn't the first game into it. Yeah. What do you think? All right. Hey, here we go. All right, take All right. it away. Well, Mr. Dave Barron, uh, the president of College Basketball Times, discovered this and wrote an article about it. So he wrote an article about the an error regarding the first basketball game that's recorded as a first college basketball game in 1895. And yes. people can see that right on College Basketball Times website. Let's go to the next slide. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, the supposed first game that ESPN and all these sites uh, have recorded is Hamlin Piper's first Minnesota State School of Agriculture Aggies. But yeah, and they, from, they discovered that this is not the, 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 the it can't be the first yeah. game. Why? And I, I read the article. I'm in agreement. The problem is. Minnesota State School of Agriculture had one student. Well, yeah, at one point they were down to, I think it was one student or something like that in the article. And but then they weren't, and then were they, they uh, were they a college? No, and they weren't a college. That's the biggest thing is that the article shows that the research supports that MSSA was not a college, so they technically could not have been part of the first college game if they weren't a college. Yeah. So how many people have this Hamlin versus MSSA as the first game? Who are some of the people that have this recorded? Yeah, like I was saying, like ESPN, Basketball Hall of Fame, Google, New York Times, NCAA, Sports Illustrated Kids, the Los Angeles Times, History Channel, and the National Collegiate Basketball Hall of Fame. Big names, buddy. Yeah. Names. And they all have that one as the first game. Yeah. It's interesting the research that Mr. Barron did to um, basically uncover that MSSA was not handed out to college degrees. And most of the kids were maybe 13, 14, 15 years old. Definitely not college age. Yeah. So who are the contenders who could be the first college game ever? Well, uh, Temple versus Drexel, 1894. But the problem is we don't think Drexel was a college at that time. Yeah, it's questionable. That's in the article. Go ahead. Uh, Haverford versus Temple, 1895 but we don't think Haverford was vars a varsity team till yep. 1918. That's and again, also in the article, I believe, I believe one of the historians that did the research on it said that Haverford was not varsity team until 1918. Continue. Uh, Chicago versus Iowa, 1896, but we think Iowa was just a bunch of kids that went to the YMCA and played against uh, U Chicago. Yeah, but they attended Iowa, but there was basically a YMCA team. All right, yeah. next one I think is the most interesting. Go ahead. Yeah, and the most promising. Minnesota mm -hmm. versus McAllister, 1896. Both were official varsity teams. Possibly. This could very well be um, the first game. It could be the first game. And what, what we're thinking and from the people that I've talked to, is that it probably was not a five-on-five -five game because a lot of these games were not five-on-five -five when they first started basketball. Yeah, and like, uh, this could be it, but a little more research probably needs to be done. And what's the last one? Well, uh, this could be the first 5v5 game. 
Um, Yale versus Penn. Yeah. For varsity teams. And yeah, it could be the first first game. First five on five game. And they got the 125th anniversary of that coming up. And you wanted to yeah. sort of find an answer to who the first, you know, two teams to play a college game would be. You wanted to find that yeah. out right now, if it's in 1896, those 1896 games, you've got a ball like 125th. You want to be able to award a 125th anniversary ball to both teams. So it says first college basketball game. It's got two blank spots underneath. I love it. Nice job, buddy. Yeah, you can put can get one to uh, each team. Give one to each school. You can award it. 3QZ. Buddy. Quick episode. We want to get this information out there. I think you're planning on doing some follow-up episodes, right? It's going to be a little mini mini series we're doing. Yeah, and we'll keep following it also through uh, College Basketball Times and see if they have any more information. Some of these other schools we'll reach out to and see if maybe we can get some of these people on the show to talk about, right? Yeah. Maybe. All right, do your closing. Great episode. Well, as Jimmy Belvano said, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Bye. Love you. Great job. Love you.